Hello, my Leos. This is your X reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Let's see what was your relationship like. I've got a lot of cards there. I'll tell you what, though, we're going to look at them. Um, I feel like your relationship was full of excitement. You guys went a lot. Like you traveled a lot. You vacationed. Um, you went out to eat. You showed each other a lot of love and affection. You did things that you wouldn't normally do. You felt very passionate about this person. Um, at some point, you guys were there for each other. But this is an X rating, so... One, if not both of you, feels like the other one basically let you down. Okay. I really don't need to pull that one card I was going to pull, but we're going to go ahead and go with the reading anyway, the way that um, I intended. All right, let's see what the relationship was like in the past year. Hmm. I feel like there were a lot of changes that needed to happen in the relationship okay because if you notice when those cards fell out I stated that initially everything was like oh my goodness this is like the best thing ever oh my goodness it's so exciting but there were some needed changes there were things that were not working that needed to be addressed and um, it probably was something that um, it needed a lot of changes for sure. But, you know, it was time for it to end. You guys go to your separate corners, I feel. Um, because as long as you were in it together, there was nothing going to change, I feel. All right. Very Scorpio energy. <clears throat> Let's see how you view the relationship. There was a level of secrecy. There was a level of um, just wanting to keep your business your business. Um, keep things like in perspective um, where you felt safe. I feel. I think you wanted to feel like you weren't divulging everything. You didn't want to really be vulnerable, I feel, in the relationship. So there was a level of discomfort somewhat okay for you let's see how the other person viewed the relationship they wanted to work on it they wanted to work together um they wanted they they thought you guys were building something and they really thought that it was something that would basically um be stable that you guys would be together. So they viewed it as long term. They viewed it as you guys were building on something, okay? Together. Let's see what is a current situation for you guys. <clears throat> There's something that you want to. Now, now you have started something new. Um, you may have started a new business or you may have started a new relationship even. Um, but I get this more as like um, dating, wanting to date. There's something that you, you feel pretty good about, I feel, with that Ace of Wands there. Somebody you're attracted to. Let's see what their current situation is. Hmm. Um, they're kind of being a little stubborn. I feel like they are focused on working on themselves, but they're also trying to open up to work with other people as well. Um, it could be an intimate setting, um, does not have to be. 
they could have started their own business um, and is communicating with a lot of people, you know, working together with people, trying to make things happen here. I feel like this is more of a boss, though. So they may have started their own business or something, or they um, are running a company currently. And let's see how you view your ex is um, that they're moving on. You feel like they have left behind the remnants of, you know, you guys' relationship and they're moving on. There were hurtful things that happened in the past and um, you see them as continuing on their journey with whatever they are doing. Let's see. <clears throat> How does your ex view you? Argumentative. Um, that you like conflict, that um, <laughs> that you will do whatever is necessary to get your point of view across. Um, nobody else's point of view matters to you. Okay? That's how they view you. Let's see what your feelings are about getting back together here. I think you do. I think you want to start. You want to um, reach out. Um, I think you want to make amends even here. So where you are currently is I feel like you're wanting to start with them. You're on either side of them here could be an air sign that you're dealing with does not have to be um, or another fire sign like yourself maybe with some earth in their chart okay but I think that you are wanting to um, start over with your ex um, see if you guys can work it out see if things can be mended is what I'm feeling <clears throat> let's see how they're feeling about getting back together I think they would be definitely open to it. Um, they're at a good place in their life right now. I feel like they're all about not only loving themselves, but sharing that love with other people is what I'm getting here. Okay. Again, we see them right here. Um, you know, just wanting to work together. They probably are somebody that likes to um, engage with people. Let's see. Let's see, what can Leo do to speed this up, to help this along? Let's see, and Leo's. I think it's time to act. I think you have the right idea in mind. Um, I, don't, I don't think that you really know how to approach this person. And I think that's what's bothering you. But um, I think there's a need to, you know, not focus on, you know, how you think they're going to react with you or to you with the five of wands bringing conflict your way. Um, I think there is, like I said, a need to act, but there is a level of, you know, insecurity as far as reaching out to this person. Like you're not sure about it. You're really not sure how they're going to react. And I think that's why you're coming as a page because, you know, it um, is keeping you is keeping you like in a in an unpleasant state. Thinking about approaching this person, I feel <clears throat> let's see what they can do for this connection to resume. I think they um, I think they need to forgive. Um, not only you, but themselves. And I think they need to be strong enough to see the love that you guys um, share to realize that they do still love you and that you still love them. Because I think um, they probably think that you don't in order for this 
to come as what they need to do. They need to, um, they really need to heal whatever issues they felt like was, um, you know, broke you guys up. They need to deal with that, I feel. Um, I think that they are. But I think that, you know, there is still a sore spot for them here, okay? So, let's see if what the potential outcome is. Look at this. Just flew out. The Eight of Pentacles. I think that you guys will get to a point where you actually are able to rebuild your connection. I, I do feel like that. I just think there needs to be a conversation. Um an open and honest conversation here because there were um, a lot of secrets, a lot of withholding. So let's see what the angel, the romance angel has to say for you guys. Close out your reading. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So, you know, that basically speaks volumes. Um, have faith that you know you can if you want to approach this person go ahead and I think it's safe for you to do so actually because I don't think they are bringing conflict I don't think they even want that honestly okay so my Leo friends that's what I have for you guys and I will speak be speaking with you soon bye now